Hey y'all. So I want to talk about dating a man with kids. The do's and the don'ts. Okay, so I had a couple people ask me would I date somebody with kids. Um, I definitely will date somebody with kids. I have dated people with kids. Um, whether it was a situation ship or we was together. Um I feel like first things first when you date somebody who have kids is to always make sure he ain't dealing with his baby mama. That's just that on that because especially if they in a younger age. But the reason why I say the younger age thing don't matter because I'm a living witness and you can definitely have a baby and his kid can be young as hell or newborn and the, him and his him and the baby mama ain't together shit just don't work shit was just what it was and they end up with a baby um so that's why i feel like you shouldn't judge a situation when it come down to guys having kids but the shit that we see today on the internet make us believe that when a man has younger kids under two shit really under five that he's still fucking with his baby mama um that's not always the case but nine times out of ten he about sliding in that motherfucker every now and then especially when you piss him off he about sliding in another bitch pussy regardless i mean look at me y'all so always when you dating someone with kids male or female Always make sure that the loose ends are tied, meaning that they are not dealing with um, baby mama, baby daddy. They ain't still fucking, period. Um, another thing I would say, obviously, if it's somebody that's serious, I would hope that you bring somebody around that you feel like you serious. Um, you introducing your kids around that is somebody that you serious. So I will go ahead and say, make sure that person is connected especially if they keep coming around and stuff like that. don't just have nobody by your kids if you feel like this is not somebody you serious with or that if you is serious with them they're not serious about your kids because what is the goal you know what i'm saying like what is really the connection um i definitely feel like kids is a part of your life, whether you a male or a female. So if they don't have that connection with your kids, it's just not, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. It's definitely not gonna work with me. But um, everybody is different. Everybody is definitely different. Um, people really don't live for their kids. So, um, nor do they sacrifice. So it's definitely different for a lot of people. So another thing I feel like that's really a don't, a no-no. And the signs, if he's still fucking his baby mama or she's still fucking her baby daddy, is why y'all got to do every event with each other? Mm -mm. Them doing events and shit and want to feel like a family and shit. Oh, well, you better break it down to little Jody or little Chrissy. It ain't happening. I couldn't even come up with a name with her for her. But, because I just feel like at the end of the day, I see what y'all trying to do. A little family din dynamic shit. But y'all should have did that shit when y'all was together. Like, if if it was that serious, you should have been with her. Y'all, sh You should have been with him. Y'all should have stayed together. Um, nah. I can get some things coming together, like a birthday. Um, I can get the football games and shit like that, basketball, cheerleader, whatever. Like y'all coming together, y'all going to the games, um, you know, and I'm stuff like that. You know, I, I get it or whatever. Um, I even know some people. They was since they've been together for so long. Some people are still like come around to celebrate other people's birthday parties as families and stuff like that. Still, um, do I feel like that's appropriate? No. So if my man that I was cool with, and um, and this is whether he got kids with the bitch or not, but especially if he got kids with her, and say like my man, his 
baby mama, mama still loved him and liked him or whatever. And it was her birthday and she wanted him to come out and celebrate and stuff like that. Do I feel like that's appropriate? I guess it all depends. Some people don't have no problem with it. I don't feel like it's like that serious, but it's not that serious for you to go either. Like, what the fuck is you still, you know? No. Because you would feel some type of way if I went to my ex mama event. Because, you know, you're going to think like, oh, he's going to be there. So, no. I don't think that your um, significant other should be going off into, you know, ex, they exes or baby mamas or baby daddies, um, family events and shit. Nah. So how I feel about the dudes and stuff like that, I definitely feel like um, if they got kids or whatever, give them space. I definitely dated someone who had kids and I had dated somebody who had multiple kids and when his kids came around, I definitely wanted to pull it back, but he didn't want me to pull it back. He felt like if I was going to be potential, you know, somebody in his life for forever, he wanted to see how we react, which was cool too. But he also just felt like he wanted me around his kids. Like he didn't want to pull back. Now his kid did feel some type of way. One of his kids felt some type of way. The other ones didn't. But one of his kids feels some type of way. And I just feel like that comes. And it was a little girl. So that comes with um, natural jealousy. I feel like little girls are like naturally jealous when a uh, daddy finds somebody. Um, they feel like you taking them away from them. And I was actually explaining that to him because he was getting frustrated too. With his child, like, what, you know, why are you acting like this and stuff like that? And it ain't had nothing to do with me personally or whatever. Kids is so bipolar. They be switching up. One minute she love me, next minute. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, let me take myself out of this equation. When your kids come, you know, come hang out with you. I don't, you don't want to be around. And he feels some type of way about that. And I'm like, well, I feel some type of way that she feels some type of way. Because I, I care about, you know, that type of shit. And I don't ever want to come between nobody and they dad or they time, baby. So, um, but that's another story, y'all. If y'all want to hear about that story, drop the comments down below. But yeah, just give your your um your significant others some space and time. Like they got their kids coming around. It's cool for you to hang out with them every now and then, but all the time, no, just give them some type of space and time and stuff like that. That's just how I personally feel through experience. Um, and everybody is different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is really different. That's just that on that. And like I said, obviously, if you're going to bring somebody around your kids, make sure it's somebody um, that you're trying to really be with and take to the next level and you're serious about. Because why bring them around? That's just, that's crazy as hell to me. Um, So that's important, y'all. Very important. Also, people with kids have some type of level of understanding. Shit do happen. Like, People literally be mad and upset. Not saying that that's happened to me. I Like I said, I know people, been in the streets, been around where um, significant other, whether it was from the male, coming from the male or the female, would get mad because something came up um, or they couldn't find a babysitter or, you know, something came up like a kid's sick or whatever the case may be. Then you got the other person mad as hell because they had to cancel out and all this and all that. Like, give some type of grace, you know, as long as they're not canceling out all the time and it's not happening repeatedly. And I also feel like if you feel like it's a babysitting problem or issue, whether it's coming from the female or the male, step up. And nine times 10 is coming from the female. She don't have a sitter. So what the man can do is step up, offer service, offer some type of something. You know what I'm saying? Especially if really nine times out of 10, like I ain't gonna lie. Anybody who don't want to watch people, kids, um, it always has something to do with money. And a lot of time us females, like I pay, but it, it's like paying these people that we really trust is crazy. 
because it's literally the people that we really trust. And I know a lot of females can really agree with me to, when it comes down to this. So what I mean by that is if I normally pay the sitter, which could be my mom, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like paying her this week, but you want to go out with me this week, pay me so I can pay her. That's what I mean by stepping up. Whoever they trust with their kid, whether it's their sister, the auntie, they auntie, hell, great grandma, grandma, whoever, you know, step up and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta, you know, step up and be like, you know what, man, let me pay for this. Let me pay for the sitter. I know you know you got your kids because a lot of men do not have their kids 24-7. Y'all only get them every other week or some kids, some men do get them every weekend. And I know everybody else's situation is different, but nice when I'm saying I'm meeting them like just like that. All right, y'all. So that was like a couple things, do's or don'ts. Like I said, you should know if your woman or your man is still fucking on his baby mama, baby daddy. That's simple as that. Um, Cause all that, oh, he's, uh, she, he's still a newborn. She, he's still fucking on baby mama, baby daddy. No, not necessarily. So I don't feel like you should judge the situation. Um, cause shit do happen literally. So know who you dealing with. That's just all I can say. And yeah, until next time, y'all, I'm gonna come back on here and I'm gonna spit some more shit to y'all. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,